three, two, one. Hi everyone, my name is Marley. Welcome to our video on the UCLA meal plan explained. We all know that UCLA is ranked number one public university in the nation, but what you might not know is that we're also ranked number one for our dining hall. So let's get into what that means. When you live on the hill, you're required to be participating in the dining plan, but you have a few different options. So when you're selecting your housing accommodations, you also want to be selecting your meal plan. There's six different types of meal plans you can get. To make it simple, there's 11, 14, and 19 regular, and then 11, 14, and 19 premium. Don't worry, I'm going to explain what those mean. First, let's talk about the regular meal plan. For the regular meal plan, you're going to get an allotted number of swipes each week. So whether that be 11, 14, or 19, and if you don't use them by the end of the week, you lose them. With the regular plan, you also get one meal swipe per meal period. That means for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or late night, you only get one swipe. For premium, on the other hand, you get the same number of allotted swipes per week, but they roll over. So if you don't use them all one week, they'll continue to be in your account and you can use them up until the end of the quarter. Once the quarter ends, you lose them. Also differently from the regular plan, you get to use multiple meal swipes per meal period. So if you want to swipe a friend in or get multiple things, you can do that on the premium meal plan. The 11 meal plan is going to be used mostly for people who are planning to eat one or two meals on campus and they're planning on supplementing their meals at other places, whether that be going home on the weekends or eating out with friends. 14 regular premium is pretty typical for students here, and 19, I would say, is for people who plan on waking up for breakfast. If you're not gonna wake up for breakfast, it's probably not worth doing it, but it's a great meal plan for if you're planning on eating three meals a day all on campus, and you're not planning on traveling on the weekends and stuff like that too much. Price-wise, it's a little bit complicated. I'm going to rank them in ascending order. It's going to go 11R, 14R, 11P, 19R, 14P, 19P. Now, let's get into the things that are really interesting. The reason you really want to be at this video. The dining halls. We have two different styles of dining. And mind you, this is all post-COVID 2022 slash 2023 year. So things are always subject to change here at UCLA. This is just what's currently going on and what we think is going to continue for the next little bit. But just remember, things are always changing. We're a growing campus and it not, might not always stay the same. The first type of dining hall I'm gonna talk about is the all you can eat style cafeteria, classic college style dining. It's gonna be the one that you see at most schools and also what you see in like the movies and things like that. The other kind is going to be the takeout style where one meal swipe gets you a plate of food and that's pretty much it. It's not necessarily takeout, you can also still eat inside of a building, but it's going to be that style of eating. You can also trade your meal swipe for a ticket and that ticket is going to be able to be used at ASUCLA locations on campus. So whether that be at Ackerman Union, Anderson Cafe, Kirkhoff Coffee House, or a bunch of other places on campus, it's going to be worth $9 for that swipe. Because of COVID, we've also implemented a new system, which is the food trucks. These food trucks are available at lunch and dinner on most days of the week. There's a variety of different restaurants around UCLA that provide their food trucks for us, and one of those meal tickets can work at those as well. We have things like dumplings, Thai food, ice cream, tacos, burgers, pretty much anything you want, and it's so good. So that's been an awesome addition because of COVID that we've gotten. We're not sure how long it'll last, but for the time being, it's an incredible opportunity. Let's break down the all-you-can-eat ones. All of the dining halls are going to have cereal, yogurt, salad, and soups, no matter what you go to. Oh, and fruit. First up, we've got Epicuria at Covell. This is going to be our Middle Eastern slash Italian style dining hall. It's very classy, has an awesome ambiance, and is really good food. Epicuria at Covell is only open at lunch and dinner right now. Epicuria at Covell is famous for their pizza, pasta bars, paninis, soups. Epicuria also has this really, really good pistachio ice cream, pomegranate ice cream, and chocolate ice cream, so definitely go there if you're looking for a tasty treat that's a little bit different from the other dining halls. Next up, we have Deneb. Deneb is kind of the more comfort, classic, American-style food. They're going to have your burgers, your pizza, salad bars. They usually have chicken wings, those kinds of things always french fries, tater tots, it's really tasty. They also are well known for Deneb breakfast on the weekend slash brunch. Oh, also, Deneb has a huge array of cereals, the most of any of the places. Finally, we have Bruin Plate, also known as Bee Plate, is going to be kind of the one that people know as the health food one, but that doesn't mean the options are any less tasty than the rest. One of my favorites is the Poke Night, which has people lining up outside the door for hours just to try to get in, because it's that good. They have chicken, Salad bars, I think it's the best salad bar out of all the dining halls. 
roasted vegetables, and they're really known for their breakfast. Bee Plate Breakfast has almost anything you could ask for on a bagel, and you can even make avocado toast there. Pretty good. There's also a dining hall called Feast. Typically, it's the same kind of dining hall experience as Bee Plate, Deneb, and Epicuria, but currently it's hosting pop-ups and it's going to have special feature meals. We also have a new place called Epicuria in Ackerman, which is going to also be able to accept meal swipes. It's going to be in Ackerman Union on campus, and it's similar to Epicuria here on the hill, but has a few extra options that you can't get here on the hill. It's also going to be less of a cafeteria style thing, and it's going to be more of a restaurant style, where you order one meal and you get that one meal. Our kosher table, which is a kosher dining hall, but it's open to anyone, and it's going to be hosted over at Hillel at UCLA, which is on Hillgard, by the sorority houses. There, you're gonna get one swipe, gives you whatever the special is for that day, and it's always kosher, and a really tasty place to go if you're looking for something that's close to campus and you didn't get a meal swipe. The probably most famous takeout style food on campus is going to be Rendezvous, also known as Ronde. So Rendezvous is gonna have east and west. The east side is going to be more Asian food inspired things like chow mein, fried rice, orange chicken. The west side is going to be more burrito bowl, taco, quesadilla style things. Both have specials each day that are really fun like a sushi bowl or California burrito. At Ronde, they also have boba and Vietnamese coffee, so that's kind of fun and special. Another classic at UCLA is The Study. The Study is by Hedrick Hall and is an awesome option if you're on the go or you just want to sit in the fishbowl and study. They're going to have options like sandwiches, salads, they're famous for their sandwiches, very top notch, pizza, and they also have a coffee bar where you can get bagels. Their bagel breakfast in the morning is very, very, very popular, but make sure you get up early because there's going to be a line. Bruin Cafe is very similar to the study where you go in and it's kind of like a caf classic cafe. They've got yogurt parfaits, salads, sandwiches and pizza. We also have something new at Olympic Hall and it's called the Dre. The Dre is going to be another small takeout location and it's going to have like frozen meals, ice cream, sushi, which is kind of like their top thing, pho, ramen, and some other pre-made meals like pastas and salads that you can get. It's an awesome option if you're looking for something quick. They also have horchata and lemonade, which is kind of special because not everywhere has that. Overall, UCLA has incredible food and we're so lucky to have an amazing dining team that makes this experience so incredible for all of the students and staff here at UCLA. Thank you to everyone who makes the dining halls happen. We love it and we're so grateful for you. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure you comment down below and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you in the next video. Bye!